Hello, welcome to Electronics Education. I'm Vincent Chan. Today we are going to continue our learning on the bipolars, bipolar transistors small signal model and focus on the difference between the high BRIPAD models and the T equivalent circuit model. This is the small signal model of the BJT part two. Let's quickly review uh, the definition of transconductance. Transconductance. The first, small signal approximation is much smaller than the thermal voltage. The AC input voltage, VB, is much smaller than the thermal voltage. So under this condition, the exponential IV curve around the Q point can be treated, approximated as a straight line. And the, the slope of that straight line reflects, connects the relationship between the output current, the green one, and the input voltage, the VB, which is defined as transconductance and highlighted by the purple triangle. IC divided by VB equals the transconductance. And this is the formulation to decide the BJT's transconductance is proportional to the DC bias current. In the previous lecture, we talked about the two important resistances. The first one, is looking into the base. The second one is looking into the emitter, right? So on your left hand side is the resistance between base and the emitter. So you got to be very, very careful. Every time when you deal with the resistance between two terminals during the small signal equipment circuit analysis, you got to ask, now I'm looking into emitter or looking into base. This is very, very important. So the first one on your left is the resistance between base and the emitter looking into the emitter. On your right is the resistance between base and the emitter and looking into base. And two, these two resistances has this relationship in the middle, in the center. R pi equals one plus beta Re. And the formulation for R pi is this, who decides the GM? The bias current. So same thing with the RE. So this slide is the highlight for the up high and the RE. So I expect you are very familiar with before we moving forward. All right? So now, let's quickly review what we learned from the MOSFET. The MOSFET's hybrid pi model and the T model. So basically, uh, the one on the top tells us what? Voltage control current source. Voltage control current source, what else? The resistance between gate and the source looking into the gate is infinite. And then going through this, by doing this, we can develop, we can move the high pi high model into another equivalent model. It's called T equivalent circuit model and show for T model. And this models highlight the importance of the one over GM, which says the resistance between gate and the source looking into source, looking into the source is one over GM. Another one is this model also tells us not just the voltage control current source on the top, but this one is the current control, current source. Current control, current source. Now, let's, I, I spend uh, four minutes, around four minutes to quickly review transconductance of RPI RE and the MOSFET. So now this should be very easy for you. BJT's high pi pi model versus the T model. So same thing here. This, the RPI. The resistance between base and the emitter looking into 
the base is r pi. And this is the definition, right? And this is the formulation. And and next is what? The transconductance. So transconductance is this. The definition of the GM is this. I see over I just review this. So let's just skip this and then look at your slide. The voltage control current source, the GMV pi. IC equals GMVB. VB is V pi. VBE. V pi is the shorthand version of the VBE. Right? V pi is the short version of the VBE. You can write the VBE, GMVB, if you don't like the pi. So since we have the R pi, and uh, this is the convention. So emitter base junction, we use the pi. Resistance R pi, voltage V pi, and capacitance C pi. And collector base junction, we use the mu. The resistance is R mu, the capacitance is the C mu. Okay, it's just the, it's just the tradition. And then here, is, here comes the T equivalent model. So first of all, this highlight the resistance between emitter and the base, looking into what? Looking into the emitter. Definition. And then formulation, the first formulation and the second one. So look at your left hand side. Current control, because IC equals alpha IE, right? Current source. Current controlled, current source. Current controlled, current source. On the top, it's the voltage control current source. When it comes to the dependent source, we use the diamond shape. Current control, current source. Here's the takeaway. The whole picture of the high prefab model versus the T model. Versus the T model. Okay. All information are listed here. But before we close, I also want to highlight, this is just the first version. You can have an alternative version. The first version, I just name it Model 1. So see the Model 1, the T Model 1 on the bottom, high Hybrid Pi Model 1 on the top. But remember, We have the model two. So this is two, okay? So model two, hybrid pi, and T model two. What is the model two? Can I say this? Of course, but it shows the current control, current source. So the control signal on the left hand side is emphasize the voltage. But the control signal on your right hand side emphasize the input current. So it's the current control, current source. So both are equivalent, okay? Both are equivalent. But, sir, sir, when, when should I use the which one? So on the one occasion, which one I should, should use? It depends on, it's your choice. You are the boss. See which one you feel more comfortable. Which one is more convenient for you? All right? Which one is more convenient? convenient? If you kind of find out this, this GMV is kind of stuck, it's, you feel kind of defeated, okay? Then you switch to another one. Let's see how it looks like. Same thing with the T model two. The control signal could be V pi, right? So voltage control current source. So both two, look at the bottom. On your left hand side, it, said it shows the current control current source, RE. But on the right is the voltage control current source, okay? Any one of the four, can solve the problem. 
if we pick from the if you pick one and from the rest of the three, you pick one out of the three, then it should give you the same outcome. So we have come to the end of the lecture. In the next one, I'm going to show you we're gonna move from the first order model into the second order model. Thanks for watching.